Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and I'm going to talk about the gem which is Black Roses. I think I most recently watched this on the Shutter app via Amazon Prime Video, and it's just wonderful. It's the most 80s of 80s movies, possibly. Just because it's so relevant to everything that was happening at the time, there was the whole, you know, battle between Tipper Gore and Congress versus Twisted Sister over censorship, over, you know, it's just bullshit stuff that they wanted to point fingers at Twisted Sister and a lot of the metal bands at the time for what's going on with the kids at the time. Th this seems to happen kind of like every decade. It's bullshit. Did I mention it's bullshit? So... Our film starts out with Black Roses performing, and they look terrifying. They're kind of these demonic creatures, perhaps monsters, perhaps they're the... They're reminding me a little bit of Guar, just because Guar likes to put on those crazy costumes, and I, I love Guar so much. But they get busted into and broken up, much like a rock and roll club I used to go to in my teen years where they would overbook and then the fire marshal would come and shut everything down. But I think they were getting shut down for more than just overbooking. There was definitely some kind of demonic agenda or some sort of black magic situation going on. We then go to kind of a rural town where the kids like really get along with their teacher. They're really going into literature and, um, talking about transcendental authors, which for sure gave me PTSD flashbacks of a paper I had to write about Nathaniel Hawthorne, which I never completed because I just couldn't focus my ADD brain into his writing. It's just, it didn't happen at that time. But kids get along with teacher really well. They have a good rapport. There's always mention of something between Julie and the teacher, which like really doesn't come to fruition thank god because gross and they get wind that the black roses are going to do their quote unquote first tour in the town just to kind of stretch their legs because they'd only been doing in studio gigs and they wanted to work out the kinks before they start to play really big cities which that's actually like a really good plan i like that plan of course, the school board wants to do everything they can to prevent this from happening. They're saying, just listening to their lyrics, they're so antisocial. There's a lot of mentions of hell, demons perhaps, witchcraft, and, well, we don't want that in our town. So, surprisingly, the school board and some of the teachers actually go to one of the first shows that the Black Roses does, which was such a reasonable move. I was really surprised that that was in a movie. Because usually horror movies, they're like, no, absolutely not. Or any movie for for that matter, like Footloose with the dancing, like, ah, and then that, nah, absolutely not. Uh, so that, that was cool. They play first song. All the teachers are like, hey, not that bad, kind of loud. Let's get out of here. And then all shit breaks loose with some leather and uh, a lot of flashing lights. And we get the vibe that there's something going on with the Black Roses. Like, you definitely got that vibe in the beginning opening of the film where they're, like, already out and, out and proud just wearing their monster get-ups. So, the teacher, of course, that I was referring to before, the English teacher, is starting to get hints that there's a lot of shit going down at these shows that we might not be seeing and all this weird stuff starts happening that may or may not be a coincidence with the parents in particular. And uh, not to spoil anything, I'll just cut it off here with the synopsis. What did I like about this film? Uh, it When the movie opens, it opens with a Lizzie Borden song, Me Against the World. And I have not been able to stop listening to that song, just like driving home from the hospital, rocking out to Lizzie Borden. Very solid song. 10 out of 10 would recommend. I liked that it, it was just, it's so topical to the times and they didn't feed into like trying to go with D. Snyder and say that 
they aren't demons and everything. They're just fueling the fire, which is a really big fing- big middle finger to Congress at this point. And I don't know if that was intentional or not, but I really did enjoy it. I thought that the monster makeups, for the most part, were pretty cool. But going into my dislikes, I would say that the puppeteering, maybe like not the most solid, or maybe it was just the way it was shot. It just kind of seemed at some points that they were like, there was a guy off camera just like throwing the puppet at, at the actors. And it didn't really seem like they were fighting it as much as they were trying to catch it and not break it. But that's fine. I mean, I don't think... I'm waiting for this cat to start licking his butthole at any second, so I have to pause. So I'm just, like, gonna keep looking over here. I um, always think it's kind of funny that the teenagers in 80s movies are always, like, way older than I am watching it. Like, they look like they're, like, in their 50s or, like, mid-40s, like... There had to have been more than five teenage actors that they could have employed at this time. And I don't know why they always go for, they're, they're not, they're not passing as teenagers. And it's kind of funny. Like it's, it's amusing to watch. I thought it was funny. Um, sometimes the acting was like not super believable, but it's also 80s, so you kind of go into the movie expecting that sort of flavor, which I really don't mind. Um, Yeah, I mean, this is a solid movie. I've watched this movie probably at least like 20 times in the last few months. It's kind of been my my go-to when I'm getting ready or just relaxing or cleaning I'll put it on and listen to it in the background because the music is great I I thought it was kind of strange during a lot of the dialogue scenes I noticed particularly in the classroom when it's obviously supposed to be very quiet but there's absolutely no sound like there's no background sounds at all it's just silent which is a little strange I don't think I've ever noticed that in any other movie I've ever watched that I was just like wait why is it so quiet other than you know really really independent film maybe they don't have the budget to include all of that and to mix it in I get it um I just I really love this movie I really dig that song it's it's a good time it's very interesting there's elements of mind control in it which harkens back to what Tipper Gore was trying to say with uh D Snyder's music or any metal music for that matter that it's controlling the minds of our youths so this is very this is very funny it's a very funny movie it's not supposed to be funny I know that there's a lot that they cut out and or edited in this film so some of the scenes you're kind of like what but You know, I did a little tiny bit of research and some of the things that were supposed to convey something like kind of missed the mark in the final cut that I saw at least. Maybe there's an extended version out there somewhere, but uh, those were my thoughts. Have you seen this movie? What did you think? Did you enjoy it as much as I do? Do you really like that Lizzie Borden song? Because I can't stop playing it, but... If you have not yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter, Instagram, and now TikTok at Reanimator. Uh, leave a comment with your thoughts. Hit the bell. Give it a like if you enjoy little cats that take, like, what is it, almost nine minute long baths. He's a very clean boy. Uh, hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams of which I really, really need to do one and hope you're all doing well and I'll see you later. Bye.